why is there this insistence from these liberal or leftist whites that white people need to learn our history? What exactly does this accomplish? Bakari, what are your thoughts on this? Does this, does this accomplish anything for us? Not for us, but I think it keep them in our business and have them with their arrogance coming around thinking they can tell you about you. Them want to learn history. Are you trying to learn it so you can say, you know what, we did this. We put these people in a hell of a position. It's time for us to pay them. Or you want to learn it just to learn it. Uh, saying a white kid is strong enough to learn uh, to learn Black African American history, American history yeah. or Native American history, they've been strong enough to learn it. So, but why? There's a reason they didn't want to learn it because it didn't matter. You can't all of a sudden say, yes, it matter. It's to keep them in our business. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, we got enough damn coons without them trying to come around and get in our business to create more. We had a hell of a conversation about that. We got enough coons. And when they come around, they just, I, I, it, it's just going to be easy for them to try and create more. And it will benefit them more than it benefit us unless they're saying we're going to learn so we can figure out how to give you the benefits that y'all need, like uh, free health insurance, no taxes, uh, cheaper homes. You understand what I'm saying? If, if that's why you need but learn it just to learn it, uh, nah, ain't no. If they want to learn it, learn it. Cause I study white folk history in all honesty, but I learn it to learn from the past to see what they did to understand some of the mistakes that we made. <laughs> Them, they learn it. They want power. That's my take on it. I yeah, I agree. I, I I agree with you, and I do the same. I study their history to learn our mistakes in it. What are they studying our history for? Is it to learn our mistakes too? And to see how they could, could pile up on it? Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. Y'all can stay over there with that shit. No thank you. Oni, what say you? Why is there an insistence from these liberal or leftist types that white people need to learn our history? What exactly does this accomplish? You see, that's the thing. That's the thing about black folk. I mean, about, about black folk. Black folk, we missed an important lesson. From Martin Delaney, you know, so so I, like I said, I published a book my, a few years back, and you know, in that book, I I, I shared something. Oh, I shared title, some of rub, rub the title. Oh yeah, it's inside the book of power. I shared this, um, this 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 essay, like a part of an essay that Do, uh, Martin Delaney wrote, you know, and so Martin Delaney is telling us about what happened in early African American history, right? And and this is this is this is a history that they're not gonna teach you. This is a history they never taught you, right? But Martin Delaney was a young man, he was interested in black consciousness type stuff. And so the, his elders got together and were like, what can we do about this situation in America? Right? What can we do about this persecution type stuff? Right? And the elders got together and they said, you know what we could do? We could build, we could either build a school or we could leave. We can we can, we can get out of here and go to Canada type shit. Now I wouldn't go to Canada, but that's what they were saying. Right? This is Martin Delaney's elders. Right? Then there was this one white boy, I can't remember the name, might be like William Lloyd Garrison or some shit. Like one of them white boys that we heard of, right? He's like, uh, and I don't know if it's William Lloyd Garrison because that could, that, could be that could be another person, but it was one of them white boys, famous white boy. And this white boy was like, no, 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 you guys don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. We'll take care of you. We'll look out for you. Right? So then Martin Delaney's reflecting 20 years later and he's like, these white boys said they're going to look after us. Right, they're gonna they're gonna help us out, and we're looking at our condition right now, twenty years later, and we haven't really made too much advances. And so, what I was saying inside, because I like to preface whenever I share something, right? I'm saying like this white liberal, he exists to trick you. Like his his mode his mo is to trick you, is to make you think that he's on your side. Meanwhile, ain't nothing changing for you. So what these white see, see, see when I was uh, I used to be a part of them them socialist circles right, and they used they have a big division that we don't even talk about today. So we like to say Marxist Leninist type stuff, whatever, right? But back in the day, they used to say 
you know, Stalinist or Trotskyist. You know what I mean? Were you Stalinist or Trotskyist? And then one of the things that they would say about the Trotskyists is they say, oh, the Trotskyists, they really just about getting pom pom. You know what I mean? These white liberals is just about getting pom pom because you know, everybody know that if you a white liberal, you could, a black woman's gonna open her legs up for you. Like if you're a black, if you're a white liberal man or a white liberal woman, right, you know a black person gonna do something for you. Go, gonna be like, oh, that's that's the one I want, right? That's all that's happening here, because they they're trying to trick you in the sense of this. Actually, I was having this conversation earlier. Matter of fact, um, uh, because because the Garveyites know this. I'll tell you what the Garveyites know. Because Gar Marcus Garvey said it. Um, I, I found out today. Amos Wilson said it. I was saying it. You know, obviously, Brother Bakari gonna say it. You know, obviously, Koku gonna say it. But but the point. But but I'm saying is that the Garveyites will tell you that the educational system of America, right, or the educational system around uh, around the world, whatever national education, exists to empower the nation in question. You know, so I was just looking at some uh, some Columbia, um, something was happening in Columbia University or some shit, or one of these univer Cornell University maybe, where they could use your phone's Wi-Fi to track your movement, to track the movement of everybody around you. Basically get like a heat signature I from the Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's just bouncing off your skin or some shit. I don't know. But they're working on this in the universities of America. You see what I'm saying? That's what education is for. To make your nation stronger. This shit that they're trying to, oh, well, well white kids can learn about our history too. That's not what the school system is for. But what they're going to do is they're going to get a bunch of black folks and say, yeah, we should teach them so that they can... That, that that's the red herring. That's the distraction. That's the William Lloyd Garrison coming back. When the real white folk, when the real white folk are not being looked at, and they are setting up ways for because because when you look at that that technology I was talking about, right? That means they could probably look through your walls at some point, seeing you just sitting down, all because somebody got their phone on. Yep. Somebody. Or, or they have their phone on. They could use their phone as like a sonar. More advanced. And they're working on that right now. You talking about, let's teach these kids about Native history. And... They're they fooling you because, see, these same people are, are, are all about that university, all about putting their white kids through that university so that they could turn on you. It's it's all, it's just the, it's just the wolf and the fox, you know? The, the Republicans, the wolf, and the Democrats, the fox. And the fox is there to make you think, hey, look, I'm a good person. But see, the whole context, whole subtext is off. The whole context, subtext is off. There's, there's nothing they learn here. Teaching white kids about Native... Like what? Like what? And, and meanwhile, that same kid's going to go and he's going to go work on some technology to see through your wall and shoot you in your damn head. And you feeling good because... because Yeah, all right. Yeah, only you know, I saw, I, I think I saw some of that same thing you're talking about, but I saw it in, res, in in terms of this thing they're working on called Smart Dust. You guys look up that shit. Uh, Kevin Carre was putting me on to that. Smart Dust. And one of the things when it's talking about the Smart Dust, basically nanotechnology, but they were talking about how basically they'll be able to use all our phones as one like supercomputer type thing. Like all our phones we play in a part in this supercomputer, like, yo, this history shit, this is the least of our worries right now. Them learning some history about it, that's the least of our worries right now. Bro, these guys are about to be able to miniaturize some shit that they, they'll say is for healing and fighting cancer and all that kind of, they're about to be able to kill you in your house, Dred. Look here, I, I, I want to say this, matter of fact, you know, that's why, that's why I'm just like, we got to be serious about, you know, like, like our existence on this planet. You know, I was thinking the other day, how is it that this white boy trusts black folks so much? Matter of fact, Brother Bakari was actually talking about this earlier, with, well, maybe yesterday or two days ago, where he was like, D -d -d these, uh, these rednecks, he was talking about the rednecks, how the rednecks, um, they, they would rather an African-American than a Chinaman, right? A Chinese person, right? And... And it, and it, and it, and that's not what it got me thinking, but it's like that's part of it too. Why did this white boy trust black folks so damn much? 
right? To the point where, like, like, because I was seeing something like people were like, "Yo, man, this, this," like, some woman was actually bragging about how her man got a nice cybersecurity job, and I'm just saying to myself, you know, because I know this white boy would not trust me to do no cybersecurity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he did not trust me with his secrets, but he knows a good number of black folk where he'd be like, "Yeah, man, look, you watch, you watch my door," you know. Cause he ain't gonna trust the Chinese man. He ain't gonna trust the Russian. He ain't gonna trust me. He ain't gonna trust a Garveyite. But there's enough black folk for him to be like, yeah, man, sure, you you got it. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you don't stand. And it's like that that got me like, like there is a like we underestimated, but realistically, there are a lot of coons in these states. Just a lot. And I know, I know, we were having a conversation earlier about you know what to do with the coon, and you know, well, you know, if, if you if you too particular, you know, you you gonna get rid of a lot of coons, yeah, because there's a lot of damn coons, like like like, cause I'm, like, like it's like it's like like I said this way, matter of fact, no, like there's very few people realistically. All right, matter of fact, I'll say it this way, I very few people outside of my in my neighborhood, I would just say, here's a key to my house, you know. <laughs> Like, here's a key to my house. I, I very few people are feel about and they, these are my neighbors, they've been my neighbors for years. I yeah. ain't never said, you know what, you can hold my key, I'm going on vacation, right? I don't do that shit. You know, my thinking is this that cybersecurity, that is this white boy saying, yo, here's the key. You know, you look over this, right? You got me, you got this? Yes, boss. So I'm just like, you know, uh, yeah, like, like. This white liberal, like, 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 again, this white liberal knows how to convert black folk. I, I, I don't want to just keep drawing. I'll just tell you this matter of fact. I was watching, so, so I'm on Twitter. I'm out of my business. There's this uh, video of that uh, one of them UK match shows or whatever. I said, let me just watch this. I want to see what this is, right? And then suddenly they had like a version that had white girl and black man and all that stuff. This white girl, there's a group of these black men, right? This white girl walks up to the group and just pulls up some dude I didn't even see. Come to find out, she found a coon mad quick. Like he, like hey, all the other black guys was like, I ain't giving this white girl no play. She just went in. I didn't even see this dude the entire time. She just grabs him out. I'm telling you, white folk got a skill of knowing how to get coons. And 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 I just I just think seriously, like this right here is just how like this is just the bait for the white folk because 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 they know, they know, they know. We uh, that's all, that's it. I feel I, I, I feel your frustration because that first thing you said, you guys talking about white folks understanding our history. Dude, we're not understanding their science. We're not understanding the their 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 military and all that kind of stuff. History, man, that's the last thing we need to be be bothered by. In the chat though, uh let me just catch up. Erica Howard says. I don't trust white liberals. Forecast. I figure forecast would know. Forecast said, yeah, you're right, Oni. He was a, a quote unquote abolitionist, so called. Uh Eric Howard says, I don't trust white liberals. You know, Malcolm X told told us about that too, by the way. Uh don't trust the, the liberal. Uh Trigabi 262 says, notice how white liberals and white leftists typically advocate for racial formations that fall that involve sexual mingling. Brazil has basically mastered this in Latin America. That's true. He says, the funny thing with all Latin America is that they copied models of, quote, unquote, French republicanism, which follows this liberal model of super colorblindness. They are not to be trusted. Lero's here, saying peace, loved ones. Bobby Wright says the white liberals' tactic is to use African people in America as a political football to serve their interests. Well said. Trigabi 262 says that's why Gaviism is the answer. Leftists can't answer the question of racism because they follow these ridiculous models of French republicanism as opposed to black sovereignty. Bakari was out in the chat. He agreed. He said yes, and they call it bettering the society. They are working towards that here and now. Uh, Trigabi262 says, Bakari, absolutely. America could definitely adopt this model. And Thomas Jefferson already mentioned using sex to get rid of black people, but black people eat up liberal leftism. Uh, Forecast said the dude from earlier calls other people coons and say we should get rid of them. Yeah, that, that AFI dude is something else, man. But uh, anyway, with all of that said, Erica said, yes, the least of our worries. 
Uh, with all that said, let's welcome in Tan Zan this week. Tan, how are you? I'm very good. And you? Very good. I'm very good as well. Wonderful. Tan, you saw the prompt, you heard the discussion that we've been having. What say you to all of this? Well, if people think that history is of any importance, you know, to, to black people, the only way to get them to do it is if white people uh, do it. So, yeah, if that's the only way to get them to, to understand it, because here we're talking about all the futuristic stuff, but the, the future is, is simply another, uh, you know, another story built on the past. You know, the, the, the conquest of, of the moon and Mars is, is simply the continuation of manifest destiny to some extent. So you still have to have some, some grounding. And obviously, you know, people don't want to, to ground themselves in anything. So I think that, yeah, if it takes that for them to, you know, as long as they don't concord it, as long as because even at this rate, like, People were, were complaining about, oh, they don't want to teach, you know, the the, the history and they're, 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 you know, rewriting history and so on. Well, you know, either they rewrite it or they teach it, but either way, that's the only way that most black people are going to know about something and maybe it might interest them one way or another. But I, I'm, I'm only being slightly, you know, facetious about that. Uh, they are the only way that people can get black people to do something if some if white people do it even you know that whole that whole you know black panther nonsense black stuff and all of that stuff let me just get all that re-africanized when there's a, a marvel movie coming out or some movie coming out you know we know that you know for a lot of that stuff like you know black americans are like not pro africa like that like that so hey Hey, you know, but it gets to, you have to have somebody championing it on, you know, bringing in the, this is making a woman king movie, which is just, you know, ridiculous and all of that stuff. But that's when people will be interested, you know, in, 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 in those boring old stuff. In any case, yeah, you, you need somebody to teach you about that. And it's not just to to ignore the, the the future which to me sounds completely horrifying like the, the, the you know we thought we had seen the, the the most people in the steam engine era thought that they had seen you know something momentous and never to be duplicated ever again you know they couldn't think of what would happen in you know 100 or more years like that stuff just looks you know quaint to us so i don't know where 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 people are going i i i you know the, the present has made the future seem quite predictable unpredictable and increasingly just whew, devoid of of any of much joy it just seems very bleak so i don't know where people are going with things i guess it makes things easier but it's just the you know the um, the uselessness of of human beings like we, we we people are creating their own obsolescence they're like oh let somebody let's build something to make it easier and we sit back and then that thing will be like well then you know you're not needed anymore so you know off you go but um yeah, you know, if there's a way, and that's also, I'm not opposed to them learning it if it's if it's the correct history. It's not it's the distortion that or the you know amnesia that I think I I have a problem with. But if they want to learn it, you know, yeah, they they already know enough about us if they want to to know it. And and for me, I'm more interested in in what black people want to really know about their history and their culture. And if this is one way to get them to know it, you know, unfortunately, that's that's really going to be the only way. Now, I've, obviously, they're just not knowing it just to know it. They're going to use it, uh, you know, to some way. Anything they learn, they will, <laughs> they can and will use it against us. That's taken for granted. But I think that it should go the same way if, if somebody has, let's say, this is, and sorry to digress, but 
you know the the way that rap is is mostly you know um bought consumed and even those live concerts which have now replaced you know cd sales for you know for how they make money but you look at the audience and it's usually just a whole sea of white just you know pale faces everywhere and this has been you know the, the, the blackest of the rappers like that whole thing with oh you know the n-word being used by somebody who was someone girl who was invited on stage but you know that's your audience those are the people who are propping you up financially so you know what what really do you expect so i'm just saying that um if this is something that you know they they, they want to consume they, they they're going to one way or another and they'd rather they consume our history than <laughs> the culture. That's all. Hey Jose. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to Jose out in the chat. Yeah. Saying what's up to the people. Uh yeah. does anyone else have any comments on this prompt? Yeah, let me say something, right? When you were talking about history, when you went to the group, you know, I Took it upon myself while we were talking to look up damn <laughs> smart dust. Man, you know this shit was created in 1965, what they talking about using. Then it made me think about the smartphone. Mm -hmm. It was the smartphone was created by Nokia in the mid-1980s, mid-80s to late 80s. That when the smartphone for a cell phone was created. So while we are worried about history, because I'm a firm believer in white people, no black folks history. I know black people think we have some type of, a lot of us think we have a secret knowledge that nobody else know. I think white people know black people history. <laughs> That's part of the reason they're able to come and do, and if they don't know black people history, first they know the history that they need to know to keep us in a position and keep us cooning. And I know we think, a lot of us think that we have this secret knowledge and they don't know. Well, we don't have a secret knowledge. This is my opinion. They know, and them using this, all this technology and what they're preparing to do, like with the 15-minute cities, and I have to do a show on the 15-minute cities, like what they're doing with the 15-minute cities, and I can see the smart dust and what y'all was talking about in the future, being a part of those 15-minute cities, while we're so concerned about if they learn our history or the white Malcolm X, as I heard some people call Jane Elliott, she's speaking the truth. While we're worried about that, they are concerned about the future and everything they are doing, they are doing so they can keep power. And I know people say, well, you know, it'll affect poor white people too. Yes, and it might. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, the third one is a fact. A poor white person is still poor. It's still white. So with that being said, they're automatically on a team and they're not going to be bugging them bothering them the way they are bothering us so yes this is a uh uh this is just something to keep because you know our people here fascinated when white people are around if white people want to learn something that means it's popular and it's good now uh white people had to get into rap music for uh, black people to start saying yeah rap music hip-hop can last Remember, they used to say it wouldn't last. White people got involved. Yeah, now all the people that hated it want to listen to it. So that's my thing. White people get into that. It's all to take you away from what they're about to do to us as a people with this future, this small dust, these 15-minute cities, and everything else. So I don't give a damn if little Billy Bob, five years old, around the corner. I don't give a damn if that bastard don't ever learn <laughs> anything about African history. And one more thing before I say this, before I go, one thing Oni said, and I never thought about this when I was telling that story. I'm out there in them out there making that money from them rednecks. And I never thought about this to Oni just said it. Why is it they are comfortable? Why is it they have done that much to black folks where they can be so comfortable they'd rather see you than a Chinaman? Because they know the Chinaman is going to keep their money with the Chinese. They know in their mind that we'll want to be around them. And that's what our past, that's what this uh, 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 traumatized past has done to us. And the trauma is the past, the trauma is the present. And if we don't correct our actions in the way that we're doing things right now, it will be trauma in the future. And I hear the mic. You know, I, I, I want to applaud Bakari there too. Bakari did the same thing that only does that I do, and I'm sure the rest of you do. I mentioned the smart dust, and Bakari looked it up. 
Bakari on his show earlier this week was talking about these 15 minute cities. I, I hadn't heard about it. I heard about the cool cities that um what's that guy? We talked about him earlier today. Uh Claude Anderson was talking about. But that 15 minute city thing, understand something too. That shit is developed. I bet you money and it'll be and it'll be maintained by this AI shit that's coming. You understand? And I want to invite everyone too, by the way. Y'all look into that AI stuff, that open AI, that chat uh GPT, I think it is, GBT. Look into that stuff now and get a handle for that because it's only getting smarter. And you want to be in on that shit now, too. This shit here about white folks learning our history, like Bakari said, these guys could crack a book. These guys could look that shit up. This is feel-good stuff. This is stuff to make you think that these guys are with you. These guys aren't with you. They're right now working on technology to shit on you for the next thousand fucking years. As a matter of fact, Bakari mentioned something about the smartphones. You, do you know the internet that we got in 1996? I remember when it when it dropped, right? That shit was in the Pentagon like in the 60s, 66 or some shit like that, right? These guys, you got to understand, a lot of this technology comes out of the warmongering that these guys have going on. This AI stuff, this AI stuff is about predictive technology. They're going to figure out how, they already know how you're, how you spend your money, your buying habits, your psychology, what you think they're going to use this shit for. And you worrying about history? Man, give me a break. Does anyone else want to add any last words here? All right, with that, I'll go to Shooter Breeze topic number three. Good good discussion, guys. Good discussion. Shooter Breeze topic number three is about white folks again. Shooter Breeze topic